Wow, okay. This can only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. We have a golden glamazon in the house this evening. Ah! I told you a little bit about our, our, about our fantastic headliners, and uh, we're gonna meet one of them right now. We have two acts before we take a little break, so make sure you stick close, because this, this is gonna get, woo, this is gonna get hot, ladies and gentlemen, hot. Yeah, okay, Miss Cal, you know her. She's uh, currently by Coastal. <gasps> what? I didn't mean to get your hopes up, ladies. <laughs> She goes between New York City and Seattle. Who doesn't? My goodness, doesn't that sound fun? Yes. She's a, she, she has so many talents, right? Okay, she's an, a, a producer, an instructor, a jazz singer, yeah. She, um, she went to the Burlesque Hall of Fame and she performed in the, exotic, the, the, the Miss Exotic World Queen category. She got first runner up, ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, beautiful. She, she, she produces a weekly show in uh, Seattle. Yes, Seattle, yes. It's, it's their longest running weekly review. Bur uh, burlesque Behind the Pink Door. Mm. Little saloon doors, I wonder what sort of, oh my. So, yeah, no, no, ladies and gentlemen, this is a classy, lassie, oh. She's, she's been named in the top uh, burlesque performers. There's a, there's a poll that goes around and it's all of the, all the performers pick uh, fans too, but it's a lot of people in the industry and they decide and she has been up at the top for many years now. She is amazing. She is beautiful. She is sweet. She is dear. She is talented. Oh yes. She's kind of tall. Yeah. What about, well, I want to make sure I get this right. Six foot two, ladies and gentlemen. All women, all women. This beautiful woman is here tonight for you, ladies and gentlemen. We brought her here. I knew, I know you're gonna love her. Please give her a warm Colorado welcome to Miss Sydney Devereaux. I've had 857 lovers And you're certainly the greatest of them all You make me moan and whimper like no other You'll take me on the floor and off the wall You're like an acrobat from Poontang Circus I've never even seen you wearing clothes. There's just one thing to need to make it perfect. Come wrap your arms around me, listen close. Don't lick my toes. It's disgusting and disturbing. It's upsetting and unnerving. All the things you could be perving on. Why must you choose these toes? I'm not a prude. I don't mind kinky, hanky, panky. You could pee on me or spank me with a second-hand umbrella. But you'd better listen, fella. I should tell you right from hell, no, there's no way I'll let you tongue the yellow postulating swords that fester in between my toes. Don't lick my toes. It's repulsive and I hate it. It's completely overrated. I don't know if I can state it any clearer. Come no nearer, do you hear? You must be some kind of idiot or something. I don't know! Don't lick my toes. I know you've seen it in the pornos. You don't see me licking your toes. This should be some kind of indication, maybe that it's something I'm not that into, you know? I don't feel sexy when you do this sort of shit to me. You know what it feels like? I don't even feel like living with this sort of shit when it happens. You know what it feels like? It feels like being frost with warm liver or no. Stepping into something in the night. You're expectant and erectant. All I think is disinfectant. Mouthwash won't disguise the scent of all the fungus and the sweat of all the filthy streets I've walked upon. The stench inside my socks upon the grave of my grandmother. Won't you please just find another way to show me your affinity and stop with this insanity? The door is shut, the way is closed. What don't you get? 
I think it's really fucking gross. I'm in disgust. Don't lick my toes. There's other things. Oh, wow. Hi. I got a little, I got a little steamy back.